Hi, my name is Ken Lovelett, and this is the new orthogonal lap drum. The reason why it's called orthogonal is because the boat shaped head on the top and the side head, the five inch side head, are perpendicular to one another. So orthogonal is another word for perpendicular. There's also a small two inch head to the right down here where um, it's used for high popping sounds and in conjunction with this head or this head. We also have this gyro surface down here, little etchings in the clay surface so that you can have this scratch or ratchet effect here. And lastly we have a jingles, tambourine jingles, on a little peg that's inserted. You can take it out and you can put finger symbols on there or small wood blocks. I happen to have a jingle here. The main focus of the lap drum is the concept of being able to change pitch and for a drum that's uh, like a talking drum and tabla to some degree. And this is done through the sound portal. All of the sound comes through the sound portal here. And by covering the hole, you were able to change the pitch of the drum. You can glissando or actually play simple melodies. On the bottom of the drum, we have this hole in the bottom where a lavalier microphone is inserted into the drum and um, it's clipped on to the sound portal and it faces in this direction and it's a way of uh, amplifying the drum and to put sound effects on it so that it can be heard in large places. The ribboning or banding around the drum heads is basically dec decorative but also serves a purpose uh, uh, as padding uh, so the hand doesn't get tired from hitting the, the surface. On the back side of the drum we have a non-skid sort of a sand paint surface. It's very rough and that's so when you put it in your put it on top of your lap like this and I like to hold it sort of like this where the front part of the drum is sort of in line with your belly button and um, uh, and so the drum won't sl slide out of your lap. Next I'm going to do a demonstration. I've taken off the thumb rings and the jingle from the drum uh, just so that we're playing on drum surfaces alone. The first thing I'm going to play is a, uh, is a, is a pattern on the round head using a cupped hand over the sound portal to, to create this change in pitch. You can do that a little faster. And that gives you a glissando or a change of pitch. You can also use definite pitch like little little melody there. Also, you can get the udu drum effect by using a flat palm over the drum. And then you can use both of those sounds together. Okay. The next we have the bow-shaped head, which I like to use a slapping effect on. And you can also use it around this other head, going to the other head. We also have this little two-inch head here, which you get a nice popping sound. Like any other instrument, you have to develop the technique for it. The great thing about the lap, lap drum, that no ethnicity is involved here. There's no tradition with this drum. So it's open territory as to what you can come up with as well in playing it. Um, you can use all three heads at the same time by developing a technique like this. Whenever the hand is over and near the sound portal, that sound will be affected. Well, you don't have to actually touch it. You can also get a rim shot on this head. Slap it in the middle. High. Little finger roll. We'll bring it to this.
Next, I'd like to demonstrate the lap drum using these uh, thumb rings. They're made of aluminum, very lightweight, and they are adjustable. They pinch in or pull open. In this case, I'm going to pinch them in a little bit. You can even cut them down shorter if you need to. And you insert them over the first knuckle of your thumb, where the open end of the ring is facing the top. So it's facing up away from the drum. This, so this way you don't tear the head. So I like to use the, um, the rings on the body of the drum. If you hit very lightly, you can also use them on the gyro. I like to use them on the small little pop head. So you can get The important thing to know about that you should know about the thumb rings is that you can hit them simultaneously with the hand or the stroke. That's the head and the body, the clay part of the drum are being hit simultaneously, or you can hit them independently. So you can go and develop rhythms like that. Next, I'd like to demonstrate the lap drum using the tambourine jingles. And you peel back the piece of tape, because you remember you want to keep all of the small holes that are in the drum completely covered, so all of the sound comes out of the sound portal. And you insert the little peg into the hole. This could be a finger symbol. It could also be a little wood block or a temple block. Okay, the drum then. When you hit the drum, the tambourine jingle can vibrate sympathetically. That's just from using the palm on the drum. When you hit the head, you get a slight sound of that of the tambourine jingle as well. You can also hit it with the ring. So a demonstration would be Next, I'd like to uh, do a little composition using the different components of the drum.